Thing. Power on. Start. Windshield. Turn signal radio just like you just rode. The only thing the Pursuit has in here that's different than the Challenger. You go into all settings under vehicle. Set up your preload for your weight. Hit edit weights. What do you weigh roughly? Uh, I weigh uh, 190. Hit done. Save it. Beautiful. What is going on guys? It is a fine, fine, super fine day here in Southwest PA and in today's, ep to, uh, today's episode slash dramatization, we are getting to ride this Indian Pursuit Dark Horse. Uh, this has the power band audio package, uh, the big touring, looks like I might be leading, has the big touring back, um, and the uh, adjustable preload that you just mentioned earlier. That's a Yep, I guess I am definitely leading. This is Donnie, by the way. Me and dude, like, kind of ran this whole thing. They just let us take a bike and come back. It was great. I rode all the heavy hitters. I'm so happy. Like, the, the scouts and stuff, I kind of rode them, but I wasn't really interested. I want to ride these behemoths. And uh, first time getting on this bike, it is 912 pounds, and it feels like it's 912 pounds. But what is nice about these bikes is um, they are kind of easy to maneuver around i mean i don't know it is a little daunting and cumbersome but like once you kind of get used to it you know and you know definitely don't grab a fistful break you're good but um it does feel kind of like it wants to topple over in the front either in the left or the right side um but i just think that's because i'm not used to riding the bike and when you own this bike and you learn how to like manhandle the bikes um it's not a problem but uh first first turn this is kind of this is kind of shaky not too bad i'm just trying to get used to um these style of bikes because like i said i i just got off the indian challenger like three minutes ago and that was the first bagger or the first big bike that i rode and this one is my uh my second one and as soon as i came to the dealership i'm like i have to ride this bike make sure donnie's behind me donnie's indeed behind me just listen to this sound on this engine real quick such a beautiful such a beautiful bike i love the fact that it's not like super uh super loud and obnoxious like I, I i love the bike it is um it's a uh, it's a liquid cold engine it's a uh it's 108 cubic inches or you know 1768 for the rest of us it puts out 122 horsepower with 128 foot pounds of torque uh, at 3,800 RPM, so it's, you know, torquey, quote-unquote torquey, uh, in the low rev range because of, one, the style of how you ride these bikes, and two, it just weighs so much, but with that weight, guys, like, it's almost like the front-end fairing just helps you pull the bike in the right direction, like, you, you get the bike to go in the direction you want it to go, and it's locked in, as long as you're not doing anything incorrectly on your part, it's just going to carve through that turn like butter it's so nice this adjustable uh windscreen is such a nice add and that actually did change a lot of the audio for the better um so that means that i don't have a lot of wind noise in the mic obviously it means that there's not wind hitting me right so very good um system for that it, it definitely works and, and like i said just these turns like you just get the bike pointed in the direction that you want to go and then roll on the throttle after you see the exit of the curb like it if you ride the bike how you're supposed to ride the bike it will just go um like things that i did have to kind of notice real quick is stopping power because this bike is so heavy it comes in at 912 pounds that's that's a substantial lot of weight but it just glides so nicely and it weighs even more if you have luggage and then another person right you could be looking at like a 1200 pound bike um 
with the Ninja 650, which is the bike that I have, uh, you guys know if you follow my channel, I'm a big advocate for using the front brake, right? Because it engages the brake light. I don't really like engine braking, but with this bike, you really do got to utilize engine braking, your front brake, and your rear brake to get this bike to slow down nicely. But, um, you know, just kind of something to consider. You know, it's, it's a big bike, but it handles so freaking nice, guys. Like, this bike has been such a freaking pleasure to ride. Like, I ride this thing one other time, and I ride all of the big bikes. I rode different variations of the Challenger with the high bars. That was fun. Like, that was interesting. Um, the road, road, Roadmaster, and then another Chieftain, and, um, oh, there's the other bike on their lineup, uh, their bigger one. Um, I can't remember what it was. And I rode a couple Scouts, but I wasn't really interested in the Scouts. I wanted to ride the big bikes. And these big bikes, guys, are so freaking nice. I mean, honestly, I'm sure there's, like, just, like, kind of preferences between, like, this bike and the, um, and the, uh, the Challenger. But, you know, this one is, like, the touring bike. I don't know if the seat's necessarily better either. I don't think it is. But, oh, yeah, look at this. We got a, uh, we got a roundabout. So, that's, um, that's, uh do slow slow speed maneuvers look look we're looking we're looking we're looking we're not changing throttle we're not changing pressure we're not adding brake or taking away brake we are accelerating out of the corner it just handles so nice guys it's it was such a nice bike to ride absolutely love it the mirrors look great or work great i should say uh, absolutely no vibrations whatsoever again you're getting this beautiful uh, v twin engine that just just sounds really really nice and even the style of how you ride the bike is totally different you know i ride a ninja 650 so with the 650 you know i can shoot it up real high in the rev range and then da 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 da, -da. but this you know you kind of you roll on the throttle maybe the three or four thousand rpms and you shift and it, like it's just it's just different but it has been such a, a great experience um, I, I do like the tank and the whole tank situation how it feels because the tank is like right there perpendicular uh, parallel with your with your the top of your your legs right like it's it just fits it perfectly and it feels very very comfortable with the super wide seat like and uh, like right here like it feels it, like it wants to kind of topple over in one of the directions but you just got to like kind of manhandle it i think this is kind of this is kind of sloppy but uh whatever i'll get used to it uh but but yeah i completely forget what i was talking about and i'm not redoing the video again so yeah it's uh I don't know, man. It's just a, such a great experience. Oh, we were talking about the tank. Yeah, and it's just super comfortable with where the tank's at and just everything about it. And your seat, your feet position is something definitely worth worthy of talking about. Your feet sit perfectly out in front of you, flat at the perfect height, the perfect angle. Everything is freaking perfect about it. Like, it just makes you feel like you're sitting in a big chair. Like, just the, the whole is a perfect seating position. And that really big floorboard is so freaking nice. Like, I could get used to that so much. Like, that's the one thing that I was really scared about with riding these, um, these demo days specifically for this bike is because I knew I would fall in love with this bike and I cannot afford this bike. Starting off MSRP um, is like 35.9. Uh, this specific one might be a little bit more. I'll flash it up here but it's uh it's it's such a nice bike and it got so many more nice features um the, the fact that it has these guards in the front where your feet are at where you can open and close them with your feet if you want airflow through that is such a nice touch storage crazy i don't know if you can if you can see you know right there at the bottom these little like deflector wing things that's good for keeping more wind off you but there's storage right underneath that like the bike is a perfect touring 
motorcycle. It's fun to ride. It sounds great. It's big and you know it's big, but you don't have to hold back. Like, I mean, I don't know. I, I wasn't like taking it crazy. Yeah, like see right there, it feels weird. Um, wasn't taking it crazy or anything, but I was really comfortable with this bike because I figured out really quickly, hey, as long as you ride a motorcycle, like apply the same rules and the same physics, just, you know, understand the weight thing you know you're you're pretty you're pretty good with just getting the bike to just respond and just to do what it needs to do and just get into this turn and just point it right out of it and just it just is such a great experience guys i'm sorry i'm cheesing this is such a nice bike i really wish i could afford one of these things man i would I, i'm thinking about getting a uh, a Kawasaki Voyager or the Fakauri, whichever one is the bigger one with like the touring seat that this one has, I want the same thing. Um, so whichever one that is, because dude, these bikes are so nice and it, it has just been a total, total joy to, to ride this thing. Um, absolutely total joy to ride this thing. And uh, man, if, if you are in the market, and you want an Indian and you want a nice bike like that I mean I don't I don't know how the audio sounds because I didn't turn on the audio because one I didn't want to get you know monetized or demonetized or whatever um, but uh, yeah that, that's pretty much why I didn't uh, mess with the audio band here um, and the other one of the other bikes I did try messing with it because I was I was done recording for the day and um, it, it was almost like you ever get like a new car and like you got to screw in the little antenna on top and if like that's not screwed in say you just bought the car like you have no audio you have no radio i think that was kind of what was going on in this situation kind of the same thing or whatever but it, it's it's probably good i mean i don't know i i it's not something that i personally look for but i would actually really appreciate that you know taking taking a bike on a, on a long trip like this the the windscreen the adjustable windscreen is such a nice feature like and it does do really really good work keeping that on wind off you um like i said like i noticed in my audio one time where I have the window screen, the, the windscreen down and then all the way up and it's like a dramatic difference in the uh, in the uh, the wind noise or whatever and uh, yeah so that means that it's keeping the wind off of you so yeah I don't know man we're unfortunately heading back I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I can really really tell you i told you it's got 122 horsepower 128 foot pounds of torque at 3800 rpms um it does come in at 9 12 17 i i think i told you brakes are good you know the the front brakes are uh 320 millimeter semi-floating rotor dual brakes four piston radial caliper so they got the stopping power and you do feel it you just kind of need that extra that extra um braking power the rear brakes is a 298 millimeter floating rotor single disc two piston caliper brake system so it works out really really nice um yeah it's 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 such a it's such an interesting bike if you if you ever get the opportunity to at least demo a motorcycle like this take that opportunity have some confidence in yourself or at least lie to yourself and just get on the bike i mean don't do that if you you know if you generally uh don't think you can do it but i mean like i said if you know how to ride a motorcycle you apply the same thing you just have to uh accommodate and adjust uh, a few different things like you know stomping distance and you know when to roll on the throttle and just just different things um this bike was pretty responsive with the with the throttle system uh there was no slag slack in the throttle so that's nice you know i i can see where it's a good thing and a bad thing so it's um it's just one of those things i'm i am sad that it is about to rain actually i think it actually does start raining here in one second and i'm just chilling but we're about to head back in there and uh 
yeah, we, we actually do get rained out. We get rained out for about, you know, an hour or two. Uh, no, probably about an hour, and then we go out. Um, this is just a demo day. This is Indian Motorcycles Demo Day. Um, uh, this was at, uh, is it Hillview or is it Hilltop? Hilltop is the Walking Dead. I believe it's Hillview. Uh, I'll put a link in the description of their dealership because they did host us and that was very nice of them. These events were not free. So thank you guys for doing this event and thank you Indian for letting us take out uh, these big bikes and giving them to people who have never been on a big motorcycle ever and just let them drive around all willy-nilly. That's pretty dope. I really do appreciate that because that is a great experience for me. I, this, is, I, this has opened my mind. Like, I got to ride a couple other bikes here. Again, I rode a couple of the Scouts. I ran, rode the 2025 Scout 101, the new Scout. I rode a Scout Chief and or sport chief or chief or whatever the hell this thing was dude this was the most torquey motorcycle i've ever ridden like you give it any amount of throttle it doesn't matter it was like it was chirping tires and that actually kind of had me a little nervous because like you know you come out of a turn and you accelerate out of the turn well if you're coming out of a turn you're accelerating out of the turn and that back wheel is spinning faster than the front wheel you're sliding out and that sucks so don't want to deal with that but we are pulling in and we are going to chillax for a second what a freaking nice bike i just want to look at this thing one more time a re-recording for sake of dramatization purposes it is oh what a beautiful freaking bike i'm going to bullshit with donnie for a second and uh don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you in the next one